it's a very serious cabinet you've got behind you there. I know, a bunch of knickknacks and all, all this other <laughs> stuff back there. I, can, I even have marionettes in the room. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's proper. Well, anyways, hey, congratulations for uh, Resident Evil. Thank you very much. So, uh, so, you know, the most common question, you heard it over and over again. Why a remake? Why so soon? Um, it... The, the great thing about this is it was actually a totally fresh thing. And that's what made it so appealing is, you know, Paul's movies were their own thing. It was all about Mila, all about Alice, the Alice character. And they, they were never from the games. And, and Paul really told his own story and created his own universe that, that you know, understood the games, but wasn't really part of the games. Um, and it had done its full, you know, it had done its six six chapters. Uh, and when we came to do this, it's like, okay, what are we bringing? What are we, what are, why are we, as you said, why are we do, doing this? And it was to go back to the games. Like, that had never been done before. To go and and recapture the terrifying atmosphere and tone of the first two games and put it on screen in a really faithful way that had just, the fans had never seen, and I'm speaking, I never try and make a movie for fans because you never know what people really want. But I'm speaking as myself as a fan, that is what I wanted. I wanted to recapture the feelings of terror I had when I was playing that first game, recapture the feelings that I was having while I was playing the reboot of the second game, which was very big while I was writing the script. So what was your terrifying moment when you first played that video game? Do you know what? It's the 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 thing when the first game happened was it was a really sort of big moment for me in terms of I've always been a complete horror nut, a massive Stephen King fan, massive John Carpenter fan, and the nineties in England that was a bad place to be. You know, Carpenter just wasn't finding his audience anymore. You know, I had to travel for miles to get to see Mouth of Madness. And it was like, you know, nobody went to see that movie. Stephen King was relegated to, to TV adaptations. And horror was in a bad place. Scream was the reinventing the horror genre in a way that was not speaking to me. It was very winking at the camera. And, you know, people love it, but it was not my kind of horror. And then this game came out that was cinematic and in love with the references that I was in love with. It was in love with the movies that I was in love with. It loved Romero. It loved proper horror, scary horror, taking it very seriously. There's no winking. There's no, this is, this is, this is terror. And I, so my interaction with the game to begin with was very much as a cinema going audience. Like I the PlayStation just suddenly you know i was a student and it made gaming very popular and 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 beyond like a niche group of gamers it suddenly became this sort of universal thing and i grew up then with this game around me like loving the horror that i loved and and i just loved it for that and i i that's been so such a big thing for me that i really wanted to give back to it you know with this game with this movie so are we going to see those video game, iconic video game scenes? Because uh, it revealed in the trailer a little bit, you know, the zombie turning around and so on. But I'm, I'm going to take a guess. The crows is going to be there. Dogs jumping through windows. All, fogs. All of that is going to be in your uh, remake. I, I, yeah, it's got everything. You know, as, as much as I could put in I was having so much fun and, and nobody stopped me you know I was like well I want this now and I want that and it's like well okay there you go have that you know so yeah it, it every frame of this movie is in love with the games so there there is there's from little easter eggs in the corner of the frame to whole scenes that that are recreated from the games um it it it, it is it is just a love letter now there Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2, there's a lot of, uh, you know, storyline and information and characters and so on. Um, do, you, do you regret leaving, um, you know, certain, you know, things out or characters, i.e. like Rebecca Chambers or Barry Burton? 
<laughs> yeah, Barry. Barry was in, and Rebecca was in brief, briefly in the scripts. Barry. Barry made a good case for himself to be in that movie. Uh, in the end, we, we would we worked hand in hand with Capcom, and um, really decided in the end with them that we would love to see them in future installments so so barry and and, and rebecca uh, politely said thank you and and bowed out of, of of the movie but um yeah their spirit is in it and and yes i hope i hope we get to see them in the next uh, movie so so in your head you already know that there are, there are going to be more installments of uh, resident evil hopefully if this uh, yeah, it, it all depends on how people react to it. I would love that to be the case. Um, it, it definitely, you know, this was made by people that are in love with the games. And, you know, there's so much more within that gaming world. So much. Reams and reams of stories and narratives and, 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 and uh, you know, there's other games. You know, I'd Code Veronica, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil Three, even you know, uh, they're 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 just waiting to be tapped into. So I I don't know where our world goes from here, but I would love to uh, continue experimenting and you know uh, explore that world. You know what? I re I enjoy the Resident Evil games, but I didn't play the first one. I watched someone played it, and yeah. uh, when the dog jumped through that window. <laughs> he, he had the controller in his hand, and that was when the, it was wired to the. Uh, yes, the yeah, yeah. And he pulled it and yanked the entire TV off, ah. uh, off onto ah. the floor, and one person knocked the lamp over. So we became in complete pitch darkness, and we had yeah. no idea what was going yeah. on. That, I think that was the only time I, 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 that was my memory of Resident Evil, and hopefully. Yeah. Your movie will recreate that. <laughs> that I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> well, thank you very much for uh, speaking to us about it. I look forward uh, to this movie. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye now.